So, um, I've just alerted to some auctions ending today. I've I'd already checked these auctions out. Uh, this is a whole bunch of Pez selling at auction. Uh, not a typical collector's auction. This is a liquidation auction of a company that uh, distributed candy and has been in business for many, many years, but uh, it's being liquidated entirely now. So here's what's going on. Uh, we've got 88 pay cases of Disney Mickey gift tins, Pez gift tins, uh, running at $1,800. The lot, oh, the bidding just got extended to $1,850. So, you know, another minute to go on it, or another 45 seconds, something like that, another minute. So, looks like uh, there's people on the stuff. I was thinking about bidding on this stuff. But considering the travel time and the kind of quantity and the storage required and the actual value of the Pez, um, a lot of the Pez, I think, are worth, you know, $5, $6 type thing, maybe. type, um, Just a general retail um, of what Pez go for off the shelf in general stores now. Um, there are definitely some collect more collectible stuff like the the Disney Pez, for example, but there's just so much of it, and it would take forever to move. So I passed on them in the end. So yeah, but anyway, this company's liquidating, and as you can see, uh, let's see, we've got one that just closed here. Uh, Ten cases of a of assorted DC Comics, Star Wars, and Pokemon Pez. Went for $400. I'm not sure how many is in a case, but um, it doesn't sound like too bad of a price. That's only $40 a case. So, I don't know. It depends how many is in a case, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, another lot closed here. 10 cases again at $475. Paw Patrol and Marvel Pez. And we've got a lot of 88 cases of Pez Disney ones still going here. They're at 1950 already. Uh, we've got some other ones that have closed, or pretty close to closing, sorry, not quite closed. Oh, the Disney ones, I think, just sold for, oh no, they got extended again. Somebody else bid last second, almost at $2,000 for 88 cases. Now, 88 cases uh, at uh, 1975. Uh, let's see, divided by 88. Uh, we're talking $22 a case. So that's that doesn't seem too bad, actually, depending upon how many is in a case, I suppose. Maybe a, is there a dozen, or is there 24, or, or is there a gross, or who knows? So, yeah. Um, Sorry if the camera is a little shaky here. I'm just kind of holding it up and uh, trying to support the camera. But um, yeah. Anyway, so we got. They're trying again here. One second. Lot just closed at night. Oh no! Somebody just put a significant bid in at twenty-two fifty. <laughs> so somebody's battling over that one. Um, let's see. Closing bid on 10 cases of Mandalorian, Care Bears, and Minion Pez. Sold at four and a quarter. So, yeah, how many? That's about uh, $42.50 a case. And let's see. We've got a lot of NHL, LOL, and Crayola Pez dispensers at four and a quarter. It doesn't say how many cases or anything. You'd have to preview that pretty much to find out. Uh, and that was another thing I would have wanted to preview here at this sale. Uh, and that would have meant a three-hour drive in to preview it. And uh, it would have had to driven in fairly quick because I only found out about the auction on the weekend. Uh, on Saturday or Sunday, I think it was Saturday. Or maybe it was Friday. But anyway, I found out about it not too long ago. But uh, let's see, we've got another 12 cases sold for five and a or sorry, it sold for three twenty-five. That's the lot of twelve Eternals and Lightyear Pez. So I'm not sure what that one's about. Ten cases, assorted Disney hundred and Gabby's 
dollhouse pez dispensers 475 so 47.50 a case now let me know if you know what the wholesale price of uh, a case of pez dispensers of just the regular pez goes for let me know in the comments below uh, we've got a lot of sort of trolls angry birds star wars and harry potter pez again it doesn't say the quantity but it sold for four and a quarter so i'm assuming there's probably about 10 cases oh it hasn't sold yet sorry uh this one did close at three and a quarter and this one's still got 56 seconds to go so i'm assuming they're going to close at about that price though doesn't look like those ones are going up or being fought over let's take a quick look at oh the mickey pez they're still going at 2500 dollars there um yeah back down to these other ones uh they're still going so 475 and four and a quarter uh the lot of seven cases harry potter monsters university pez went for 240 so less less money so seven 240 divided by seven uh 240 divided by seven is uh 34 dollars a case so that doesn't sound too bad either uh four cases of nhl hockey puck pez dispensers those must maybe have some more collectible value i would think or maybe larger cases perhaps but uh sold for or haven't haven't finished yet they're still going down here at uh, two minutes and 47 seconds to go uh hello kitty 11 cases hello kitty and treats pez dispensers at 375 they're still going we still got three minutes or so to go um we've got a lot of 13 cases of pez candy refills and 12 days of christmas pez dispensers so 375 13 cases there now these are a, a large i guess these are little ornaments they're not really act actual pez maybe or just ornaments i'm not sure or mini pez that dispense perhaps um then we've got uh candy ink oh candy included sorry <laughs> star wars pez collector tins teddy ring pots charleston chew so there's more than just pez in there uh 230 is what that lot's going for and we've got six minutes left in that particular auction and then we've got three nhl pez dispenser displays and two pez floor stands so displays and everything for four four and a quarter the hockey ones seem to be getting quite a bit of interest and we've got uh, a lot of four pallets with assorted candy and chocolate this is sort of typical what of some of the other stuff they had obviously there's pez in here I can see a Santa or a uh, snowman or something there. And then we've got two cases of Halloween ones at the end here too. Those have uh, those have two hours left on the auction. The majority only have a few minutes, the longest one being 12 minutes. But uh, we'll see what some of the other ones go for here. Um, yeah, they seem to be getting a little more action. So what we'll do is review it as they uh, go here. Oh, the lot's closed for all of these now. I see. Yeah. So the lot closed for the Mickey Mouse ones, I see, now at $2,700 for 88 cases. So $2,700 on 88. Um, that's thirty dollars a case or thirty one dollars a case plus taxes and i assume there's a buyer's premium on top of that um yeah so i'm not sure how many is in a case but if there's more than 30 in a case at a dollar a piece that's that'd be pretty good that'd be a good deal a lot of money to outlay though for uh cases of pez so hopefully whoever's buying them is somebody that can liquidate them obviously uh, probably some liquidation company I would bet would be buying those but uh, you never know could be a dealer antiques dealer I suppose or collectibles dealer and we've got 10 cases the Marvel Paw Patrol I think we went over these two already and so 10 cases of the Mandalorian so 
four and a quarter, forty two dollars and fifty cents a case. And we've got four and a quarter there, three fifty for nine cases, so approximately thirty dollars a case. Or no, more than thirty dollars a case, almost forty dollars a case for those. And twelve cases of the Eternals and Light Year. So at three seventy five, how many dollars a case is that? Um 375 that's 31 dollars a case so they're going for not bad money i suppose um again i'm not aware of what the uh, wholesale values of this stuff is so i'm assuming it's under wholesale but uh i don't know for sure i'm not positive on how old some of this inventory is it's all footed pez so it's it's fairly current the last 10 years I would think 20 years I'm not sure how long footed pez have been out there I think probably at least 20 years or so but um, yeah I'll maybe do a double check on that but this is all footed stuff packaged um, got a lot of 10 cases so 4750 a case um, and uh, let's see 42 or 425 for all that lot the angry birds and such and okay the Harry Potter ones are gone now at seven cases at three set 325 for the seven cases 325 by seven uh, let's see divided by seven is forty six dollars a case so they pay kind of a little bit more for those Four cases of the seven, of the hockey puck ones. Now they may have some extra value or something. I, I don't know. Um, Six hundred dollars divided by four is uh, one hundred and fifty dollars a case. So maybe they've got some more collectible value, and somebody recognized that. I'll have to do some some digging um, and maybe throw it up on the screen here. And we got Hello Kitty one at 375. And again, oh, and those aren't those are going up actually at because there's still 26 seconds on the uh, hockey ones. So yeah, hockey stuff tends to get be a little hotter. Uh, the Christmas ones sold at 525. Still at 230 for these other ones, the Star Wars and uh, Pez collector tins with assorted other candy included so who knows what how much pez is actually in there and four and a quarter for those hockey ones the nhl ones are still going up because there's still four minutes left in that auction and these other ones are still going as well so okay we got 30 seconds left on the hockey ones we'll see how they go um, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, somebody will probably bump it up, I would bet. 4, 3, 2, one's extended. Nope. Oh no, somebody did bid another $50 or so. So it's a 675 so they're going up. They're paying more than $150 a case for this stuff. Um, why don't we do a quick check for NHL NHL uh, Puck Pez. So maybe there's some sort of limited edition or just we're extra desirable. What do you think, folks? Well, they're only selling for four dollars a piece, so I wonder how many is in a case. See, they're four dollars a piece, so that's odd. They're two; th they're from the 2019 year, so they're five years old. So I'm betting that a lot of this Pez is stuff that is about five years old. Um, NHL official limited edition. Oh no, that's a different one. Salvation Army. Okay. NHL hockey pucks created exclusively for 2019. So they're retired. That's maybe why. 
as you can see on the Pez website. Yes, there is a Pez website, uspez.com. Yeah, so they're exclusively for seven Canadian NHL teams, so maybe a little bit more scarce, and that's why somebody's going after them. I, was, I wonder how many is in a case, though. It's interesting. Anyway, oh, they've gone up again to 750 now. So, yeah, they're jumping. So that's interesting. I have to keep my eyes open for hockey puck pez. They seem to be going for some not bad money, eh? Anyway, um, yeah. So, um, we got 20 seconds left on this sale, this auction here. And if you're coming into the middle of the video, this is a liquidation of a, um, a candy distribution company. They produced some candy on their own, but a lot of what they did was distributing other companies' can candy and repackaging stuff in their own packaging as well. But um, I think with a lot of the local companies in Winnipeg that produce candy have shut down over the years, I think they're, they've kind of become limited and they kind of tried to branch out into other candy and such, but I don't think it was taking very well. They also distributed other food product, uh, candy sprinkles and uh, popcorn, candied popcorn and such. Uh, Lucky Elephant Popcorn was a, a staple for this company. My Nutty, I think it was Lucky Elephant. But anyway, it's Nutty Club that produced this stuff. Uh, is That's the company being liquidated right now is Nutty Club. So yeah, they've been in business for many years. Kind of a staple and a... Um, a landmark in Winnipeg. So, anyway, let's see what do we got now going on. Are those? Oh, the lot closed at eight hundred dollars on the um, NHL ones. So yeah, eight hundred dollars divided by four cases is two hundred a case. So yeah, two hundred dollars a case for hockey puck pez so again i'm not sure how many is in a case um i'll have to maybe look into that like i said i was going to bid on this stuff but i uh, didn't i decided not to in the end just because of logistics and storage issues i don't have a lot of storage for this sort of quantity uh, of low value merchandise so i didn't uh didn't go and bid so there's two lots left to go i think yeah just two lots running still one still got a couple hours which we're just going to leave we're not going to worry about the halloween ones uh that this one is a, a mixture of stuff so we're not going to be able to tell much from it is and uh yeah so thanks for watching folks hope you enjoyed the uh little bit of auction action for this particular sale anyway thanks for watching folks please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks